Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to my channel. I am Diane Bondi, your host here today for this particular practice. And today's practice is gonna focus on self-care. So we're gonna spend a lot of time moving around our mats. So I've got a blanket and I grabbed some yoga therapy type balls. So I have a tennis ball if you don't have uh, these pressure point balls. And I found this in my travels. So I'll figure out what it is and I will link it in the description below so that you can get one. I thought it was kind of cool because it's on um, elastic and it's got two like therapy balls that have um, some ridges on them. So it looks like this is gonna be kind of fun. So these are what we're gonna be using today in our practice. We're mostly gonna stay seated. This is gonna be about 10 minutes. Um, so grab whatever props you like and we're gonna start our practice today on our back. And I'm gonna go ahead and set my watch because I have a tendency to say something will be 10 minutes and then it ends up being like 20, right? So keep your stuff close at hand. So I'll have it close by so it's in um, easy to reach distance. And I'm gonna set my timer so that I can stay on time today. And we'll start on our backs. So starting on your back, gently just draw your knees one at a time um, into your chest. So come, go ahead and come onto your back in a way that feels good in your body. And just, I'm gonna invite you just to relax. I'm gonna bend my knees. Take your feet out as wide as your mat and let your knees fall in on each other. Tuck your shoulder blades un, onto your back, close your eyes, and take a few really deep, slow, and delicious breaths here. Inhaling deeply, exhaling completely, just allowing yourself to relax. And then take a scan of your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Just notice what's going on in your body. Notice the support at your back. Notice your feet on the floor. Just kind of notice what's going on. And then if it feels good to do so, try stretching your arms up overhead. I like to bend my elbows slightly and bring the tips of my fingertips together over my head and just press my shoulder blades down into the mat. Then I'm gonna invite you just to take your feet or your knees apart and do a gentle tuck of your tailbone so that your low back uh, is engaged in the mat. And then I just want you to feel that support here for a few minutes as we press down into the mat. From here, I'm gonna invite you to stretch your arms up straight and then bring them down by your sides. And then walk your heels a little bit closer to your bottom and then tuck your shoulder blades underneath you slowly. Inhale, let's lift the hips up to the sky. Exhale, let's lower down and draw right knee into your chest. Give yourself a little bit of a stretch and then release the foot to the floor. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, left knee into the chest. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down by your sides. Grab a hold of either side of the mat. Tuck your shoulder blades onto your back. Inhale, lift your hips to the sky. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, right knee into the chest. Give yourself a little bit of a stretch here. And release the leg down, arms up overhead. Second side, knee into the chest. Inhale up. Exhale, hands down by the sides. Grab a hold of the outer edges of your mat. Walk your heels a little closely, closer in. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath you. Press into your feet and lift your hips to the sky. And then exhale, lower down. This time, bring your arms out into T or cactus and draw your knees into your chest. Let your knees fall over to the right side. Now you can hold the top of your left knee with your right hand if you want and increase the stretch, but let the knees fall to the floor. Don't hold them up. You want this to be just really lovely and connected. And then inhale back through center. Exhale, second side. Oof. Just allow your body to open up. And then inhale back through center. Let's bend our knees and bring our right knee into the chest. Kick our heel up to the sky. Press out through the heel. Toes back toward the nose. Breathe. Ooh, feeling the stretch in the back leg, perhaps. Just kind of noticing where you are here in the stretch. Beautiful, exhale and release, second side. 
Press out through your heel, draw the leg in a little bit closer. Oh, feel that stretch. Oh, a couple sighs here, always feels good to stretch out the body. Plant the feet, now bring the soles of the feet together. Bring your hands to your belly and let's really tap into the breath. Uh, go ahead and softening the face, finding the breath, inhaling in through the nose. Exhaling out through the mouth a few times for a sigh. Inhaling. Exhaling. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Close your lips. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Bringing your hands to your knees. Let's draw our knees together. And then let's roll over to our favorite side and gently press ourselves up to seated. I'm gonna go ahead and sit up on my cushion here, my smaller meditation cushion, just because I uh, feel more comfortable. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my props here um, and just play for a little bit. So uh, let's start by working on our calves, or actually let's start by working on our feet. So I'm gonna bend my knee, bring my foot on top of my thigh. You can do this however it feels most comfortable in your body. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna massage the bottom of my feet. I'm gonna take my thumbs, and I'm just gonna roll, pull my thumbs up the bottom of my feet all the way to my toes. So from my heel, I'm pulling energy or skin all the way up to the front. So I'm just rubbing the skin all the way up to my toes, all the way up to the top of my foot. And then I'm gonna just massage underneath the knuckles of my toes. I'll just give my feet a little bit of a massage here. Gently rubbing the bottom of the feet. And then I'll take one of my harder balls. You can even use your tennis ball here. If you're gonna use a tennis ball, don't buy tennis balls from the dollar store. They're hard and the minute you put pressure on them, they split. So just buy like the can of tennis balls, buy like Wilson or whatever the brand is, but make sure you buy good tennis balls. And I'm gonna flex your foot, take the ball and just roll it over the pressure points of your foot, right? Even roll it up toward the toes. If you want, you can place it on the floor in front of you and I'm gonna put it on my mat so it maybe doesn't roll away. And roll your feet, because we don't give our feet a lot of love, but roll over your feet, roll through the bottom of your feet. And if you like, I'm gonna roll and just come right into my Achilles. So I do a lot of running and cycling, and so I find that my calves get tight, my hamstrings get tight from running. So go ahead and just allow yourself to roll right over your feet, right over your heel, and do this a few times. And then when we get to the Achilles or the calf, try rocking back and forth. Like do what feels good. Let this be intuitive and delicious. Don't worry that it's not perfect. Just kind of roll with it, right? Good. And then I'm gonna place this ball off to the side and I'm gonna take my thumbs and bring them behind my knee. And I'm just going to massage behind my knee here on either side of that tendon behind my knee. And then I'm going to move down my back of my calf, just massaging the back of my knee. Good. And then I'm going to extend my right leg. I'm going to take my right hand and place all of my fingers in between my toes. Do you ever have one of those toe spreaders? I used to wear those toe spreaders all the time when I was an Anasara teacher. Then I'm gonna squeeze my foot and I'm gonna press my foot back and forth, just massaging my toes. And again, I used to do that all the time and one time I fell asleep in that toe spreader. <laughs> boy oh boy, did my feet talk to me the next day. But it's really nice just to have something to spread your toes out. You can even use those pedicure toe spreaders just to spread your toes out, give your feet a little bit of love. Good. And then I'll take my left hand and go the other side and place my fingers between each one of my toes. Just kind of squeeze. It feels a little bit uncomfortable, but squeeze your toes. 
And then release, I'm gonna rub my heel, massage my foot a little bit more, and then plant my foot. And do, we'll do the second side. So now I'll take my therapy ball, I'm gonna place it on my mat, I'm gonna place my hands behind me, do this in a way that feels comfortable, and roll. You can even do this standing if it feels good. Put more pressure standing. Just roll right to the heel, right and back. Allow yourself the opportunity just to feel that sensation. And now my left foot feels really tingly, so I can feel blood flow to my left foot. And now I'm gonna go all the way to my calf and get my Achilles tendon. Oof. She's talking to me. Like again, when you do a lot of like walking or running or cycling, sometimes these parts of your body get sore. Sometimes you might get an overuse injury. So what we're doing is we're bringing blood flow back to that part of our body. Ah, good. And now plant your feet. We'll place the ball off to the side. We'll come back to that. And then we're going to massage our feet. So we'll take our thumbs, working from our heel up to our toes. I'm going to bend this bottom knee. Heels up to the toes. Ah, and find the place where you feel comfortable. So this, I finally found my comfort place here, crossing my ankles. If you need to sit in a chair and do this, that's great. But I'm pushing energy or I'm pushing the skin up from the heel all the way up to the toes, massaging the knuckles of the toes right here where you get a bunny and you want to just bring some energy back to the feet. I feel like we neglect our feet. Unless we're getting a pedicure in the summertime, I feel like we kind of just neglect our feet. And I'm really grateful for my feet because I really pound the crap out of them. I do a lot of running and my feet are often like, you know, sore. So it's good to get in there and massage your feet. And show your feet some love. So that's a little bit of self-care. And then what we'll do now is I'll take my left hand and place each one of my fingers between my toes. And then just kind of work the toes back and forth. Just kind of squeeze the fingers and the toes together. Give them a little bit of love. Breathe. And then I'll do the second side. I'll take my toes to the arm, my hand on the opposite side. So I'm taking my right fingers between my right toes and I'm going the other direction. Oof, getting right into that pinky finger. Just kind of moving them back and forth. Feeling what's going on there. Beautiful. And then I'll plant my feet. Take my thumbs behind my knee and right on either side of that tendon, I'm just gonna massage all the way down to my calf. When I was running and training for the marathon, I got this big ball in the back of my left calf and I went to the massage therapist and to my chiropractor and everybody was like, what's that? And I was like concerned but it just got, my muscles just got really tight. So I just had to take a little bit of extra time to massage. I found that this was really helpful. Also bringing energy back to your legs. Massaging down, oof, all the way down. Good, beautiful. Now we're done with that. And I'm gonna grab this ball on a string and I'm going to take it behind my back. So I'm bringing the band into the right hand and I'm going to rub this up and down my back. Now this works really well if you have this particular contraption, but if you don't, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the ball. So you can use the tennis ball or this is like really hard, almost like a, um, a racquetball ball. So you can also use that and place it I was saying midway down the mat. I'm going to use both of them and see how it goes. And then come on to your back slowly. So I'm on either side of my spine here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. This is great. And then I'm going to roll back and forth. So planting my feet. I'm going to just move my hips back and forth. And just get into some of those tight spots in your back. And even if you just wanted to lay on the balls and let them be little pressure points. You know how you have a atsyatsu massage? If you've ever had one of those, they dig deep and there are a lot of pressure points. But you can roll side to side here on your tennis ball. I'm bringing my arms up a little bit. And then I'm going to slide the ball a little higher up. Oh, in between my shoulder blades. 
Now I feel that. It's a lot of tension there. I have a lot of tension in my upper back and my neck. So you can roll side to side, just kind of reach your left arm up, pull it back into the socket, right arm up. And what I have is the ball just on either side of my spinal column. And I'm just kind of massaging my space between my shoulder blades, right? Just loosening up that space. I'll do four more here. Three. Two. Oof. And one. Good. Let's roll over to one side. Grab your massage therapy ball. Let's bring it into your right hand and massage your neck. If you have the balls on a string or anything like that, you can use that to massage your neck as well. But I like to just use the palm of my hand just to get into my shoulders. It's really good if you live alone and you know you like to have a shoulder rub. This is the closest you can move into this. And then you can take the other side. You can do this for as long as you like, rolling it up the side, just being really mindful and careful with your body. Taking your time. Your neck. Good. And that's it. Now again, if you have that you can play with bringing it onto your upper back, onto your neck. You can even lie on it if you wanted to try laying on it as a pressure point. I like it on the string because you can keep things from moving. And this will be the same as putting the two balls behind your back here. And then you can, oof, I like to take it under my low ribs and then bend your knees so you can bring your two balls just under just beneath your low ribs mid back tuck your shoulder blades underneath you bend your knees come back onto the therapy balls and just kind of let everything soften i do this a lot with um, my private clients who have tight shoulders and then let's try lifting the arms up overhead and bringing the hands down by your sides and up oof and down good and release and then roll over to your side and come back up to seated and like i said i always try to make these 10 minutes but i'm just incapable of doing that so i hope you enjoyed this little taste into using therapy balls you can explore and experiment with your own massaging of the balls, using them all over the body. Sometimes on the IT bands can be really great and places like that to help you just kind of give yourself self-massage, a little bit of self-care. Thank you for joining me for this and thank you for being a part of the Yoga for All and Yoga for Everyone family and for being a part of my channel. I would love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it if you would leave a comment or subscribe or share this with anybody who you think might benefit from this channel. So thank you very much for being here and I'll see you next time.